Have you ever been watching a show and you thought to yourself, man, I really wish this character was this way. Or man, I wish there was a character like this, but different. Hi, I'm Bill, and I think that all the time. Uh, I, so much so that I just make casts and casts of characters, and I don't know what to do with them. So, I brought them to my friends and decided we're just gonna turn them into things. You know, whatever ca comes of them, that's what uh, that's what I'll do. So, I'm joined by my friends, Jonathan Kenny. I'm Rich. I'm his friend Seth. That's right. Yay. <laughs> And this is a nude podcast we've started called. A nude podcast? Yep. We're all stripped down to our n nudes. Yep. Skivs. You're welcome. Th suits. This is an 18 and over podcast, oh. just so you know. Well. Uh, it's called I'm Just a Bill, and we're here to make bills. Yep. So, yeah, core premise, we're, we're here to take his, uh, his fun characters, and we're using them as writing prompts to kind of kickstart fun, imaginative new worlds. That they fit into. We're going to build the hell out of them. The English major in me is screaming in joy. <laughs> so uh, let's not just waste too much time and get We're into not. it. Number one, I, wanted, I want us to talk about Brick Cultivator. Now, uh, I, have a, I have a little bit more on this. Uh, I came up with a couple of title ideas, depending on if it was Chinese or Japanese. Uh, but basically, it's a world where everyone gets a tool or weapon, and this guy's got a brick. Uh, the t Chinese title I came up with is either Brick God, Brick Lord, or Bricking the Heavens. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if it was Japanese, it's everyone gets a cool weapon and all I get is a brick? What yes. the heck? No. no. 100%. <laughs> oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Um, all right, so we have, we have Brick Cultivator. Um, I mean, obviously. Isekai or no Isekai? I mean, I was leaning towards Isekai just because, okay. like, it just sounds. Go with the Japanese one, Isekai. All right. right. Okay. So, what is his job in the real world before he ends up in this other world? He's got to be uh, a, a, a mor mor mortarsman. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. That's not I, what they're called. Uh, uh, I, I got we're it. Doing this Coroner? Japanese. So, okay, go, go, go. I got it. Okay. I got it. All right. So, he's a Japanese. He was a Japanese high schooler. He he had to drop out of high school so this would be his third year in high school sure, right sure. he works at a shitty construction job he sees a girl walking past him like walking down below that he remembers from school he thinks she's waving at him he goes way back trips falls to his death no you gotta have him you gotta have him die by starts, brick starts to walk towards her and gets hit by a falling brick oh, yeah. that she was no. trying to warn him about <laughs> pallet of bricks <laughs> pallet, pallet of, of bricks, bricks. My pallet of bricks. Yes, yes absolutely that's, that's perfect you that's see, perfect you see where my heart was heading if we were doing isekai was that it was like a basically a kumodesu guy ripoff where it's just like a class of people re redone in a new world and everybody gets cool stuff and he's got a brick this is oh. Battle Royale, but it turns out Brick is the most powerful thing. Well, yeah. Brick already is the most powerful thing. Let's not kid ourselves. Brick, Brick is his most powerful thing because he can't use it because it's like a think I shall seal the heavens. Like it's a transcendent item that he as a spirit cultivator would have. So he can't unlock shit. It's just a brick. <laughs> oh my god, Tate no Yusha brick? But it's indestructible. Well, yeah, <laughs> no one can fucking scratch this brick. And it's just incredibly heavy to anyone but okay. him. Yeah. He absolutely figures out how to use the the brick to the best of his See, brick abilities. I was stuck in that flow of the classic Isekai where you have your virgin MC no. or a job We gotta break him dies. out of that somewhat. Yeah, no, like, well, we're the, not making garbage. The class is, <laughs> is even more classic garbage. It's like, my whole class got transferred and I'm a Wait a cook, what a brick! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was not... Yeah, but that's how it would happen, though. Like, I originally imagined this as Chinese only because I wanted the, like, the Tales of Demons and Gods, I Shall Seal the Heavens moments where people are, like, thinking they're good shit, and then they get bricked. Uh, brick right to the face. Just oh like, my god, brick like, slapping. No. Yeah, uh, and straight every time it hits someone, they are knocked the fuck out. Well, it's just KO powers. Yeah, I yeah. imagine it with like cartoon physics. It hits them and then they fly off while the brick lands. Just Well, no, it just hovers there, waiting uh, for him to pick it back up. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Uh, 
Okay, so so, so part of uh, so is it just one brick, or does he have the ability to does does, does he hmm. as he build get more brick as like, he builds? I I, have, I can only <laughs> imagine towards the end where he's like, like in the mid station, he's like. I've become all powerful, and he's like swinging like the brick, and like the image of a house appears. Yes, first brick <laughs> house. <laughs> That's all I could think of. Or like it evolves into a, like a battlement, like a rook castle battlement. Oh my god, he lures then, like, <laughs> he lures his enemy onto uh, a, a, a city sidewalk where it's all brick, and they don't even realize what his power brick is. Coffee. And then yes, suddenly all of them slam together into a you know pile, pile of dead mush. Now, oh my um, god, I can imagine. Unless like I'm sorry, finally gets an attack skill, and it's just like brick and mortar, and they're just enclosed. <laughs> and like, uh, is is brick and mortar like a, a house version of Rick and Morty? <laughs> I hate you. No, 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 no. Like, so, like, so he reincarnates, and like he's like the son of a of a chimney builder, uh, uh, like a masonry family. Like a masonry yeah. family. It, like, they, they think like they do quarry work. They do. <laughs> And and then like his first viewpoint, his first attack from cultivation is brick and mortar. Okay. And he's just So we gotta talk about the brick, right? Cause like it what what oh, is okay. it? Okay. So I did I am I'm not gonna lie, I did have designs for the brick because like it spoke to me for a second. So the brick is his immortal mansion. Like there like if you looked at the brick and you sectioned it off into eight blocks. Each one has a like a, a ceiling symbol on it, and as it lights up, he gets more of the brick to use. Uh, so like very desolate era of uh, the star state. seizing manner. Okay. It's it's yeah. it's it. Hold up! <laughs> oh, did just just hit me? Like a brick? Like a ton of bricks? Oh, like a, like a pallet, pallet of bricks. bricks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. What do we call the brick star seizing matter? Like, would, would would this would this be? It's it is it is clearly brick house. No, 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 what no. Are doing? What are you doing? She's Mason's lodge. <laughs> no, come on, man. You got. He's go, a mason. You gotta uh, yes, but you gotta go. You gotta go brick house inhabited by the masons. That's got to be his last name from jump. By the way, uh, brick house H U. His name is Bill. All of the characters' no, names Bill are Bill Mason. Bill Mason. His Bill name is Mason. Bill Mason. The Mason clan. Yeah. Okay. So welcome to Bill Mason, brick cultivator. Yep. He his <laughs> his brick is his uh, his his cultivation manner. Uh, that its its name is Brick House H A U S with, with an umlaut. <laughs> Gotta have the umlaut. Very important. Yes. Uh, it's uh. Let's see. Okay. So uh, come up with some names. At least three attacks. Come on. We gotta uh, brick. <laughs> Get bricked and <laughs> prepare to be bricked. I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> so his final attack is, or like uh, at least the one we're going to come up with now, should be pallet of bricks. No, no, yeah. no, no, no I but got like, it. I got it. Foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> foundation. No, okay, okay. The, the classic... foundation poor. Can we just establish that his cultivation system is clearly about building a house inside his body? Yes, <laughs> yes, hundred percent. Like he eventually builds a castle. So, so like his body is heavier than the foundation of a castle, yeah. Because he bit, he he did the foundation. He layered it but, with only the finest and densest of metals. Yeah, because I also, he had the perfect heaviest brick as a as a as an like imaginatory model. Yeah, he his, just he, imagines. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I love the idea of Dallas techniques with brick and mortar, but I also just love the idea of. There is no pomp and circumstance. He picks up a brick. He hits somebody he with didn't it. Say he's a martial artist. No. He's a mason. No, yeah, he just, yeah, he just, knows, how to, he just knows how to brick. Yeah, this yeah. is his body is so durable because he's laid the foundation that he just runs at people. Yeah, with no, he has the <laughs> ultimate defense, and like, he just bricks. I like his ultimate, like <laughs> profound technique, being that he just sees the opponent's head as like an unfinished wall. And they can't leave because that's where the brick is supposed oh, no. to be. Okay, so so it at least them in place. at least one uh, m technique where he creates an arena made of bricks in which they're both imprisoned until the the battle is complete. Right, at least the okay, one. Okay, his movement technique was practiced from years of his uh, in the Mason family 
building walls, so he's f- so fast laying bricks. He just oh, he sidesteps like a he motherfucker. He <laughs> builds walls around him out of his spiritual bricks. Oh, I I will this say is some, like Terraria level bullshit. <laughs> I, I, another thing is like if he's do, doing sidestep movements, he can have a, a technique where it's not that he's faster; it's that he emits cement from his feet. So whenever people like chase him, they're just stuck. So he slows them down, not he makes himself faster with his movement technique. <laughs> I, I, I am right. very happy with Bill Mason, brick cultivator. I am too, but I have one final one to leave us on. Who is Bill Mason's rival in this story, and uh, what is his power? Uh, he's a stonecutter. Sledgehammer! No, well, it's, he's, he's a painter. Ooh, uh, he's a painter. He's an artist. He creates emotion. <laughs> he like paints the brick like pink once, and then the, the main character never gets over it. Bill is it's just, just a so offended. Really intense grudge the entire time. And like story. the paint, the painter doesn't even care. He's just like, doo, 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 doo. I'm an aloof painter. No, no. See, my mind is it's like it's. These are labor cultivators. So I'm thinking oh, it's like a oh, dude so like roller in a painter. paint. Uniform oh, with like a, a mask like a white... and a roller, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's like, "There's not a thing." His goal is like, like Sherman Williams. I will he's cover going the to world. Paint, cover the world, yeah. okay? And he's like, "No bricks are the perfect color. It's going to be the color of the stone." All right, <laughs> we don't need paint. Oof. And they're, they're competing with, and it's the Mason family, and like. The, the painter. No, he, it's yeah, just Bill. It's William Painter, not Bill. Uh, <laughs> William. William Painter. Terrible, terrible, terrible. All right. Well, the right. saga of Bill Bill Mason is complete. Who else do you have? That's not Bill? complete. And the 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 intro has opened, and we know we know the the beginnings of Bill Mason. Uh, like play some music right here. Uh, like, all right, so, like sea breeze. Go. No, you're editing this one, Bill. You play music. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that was me telling me. Uh, all right, I guess we're moving on to number two. <clears throat> this is something I don't see, and like I see people barely use them in cultivation novels, but like I want somebody gung ho for it, like has the biggest hard on for it. Bell wielder. I mean, like any kind of bell, he fucking wields it. Oh my right. god, it's like every melodic percussionist dream. <laughs> okay, so yeah, no, I am, I am getting a little excited <laughs> thinking about that. I mean, like. Like, like this hit me strangely enough because I was wa- playing Enter the Gungeon, and there is an a boss called the Mind Flare. The fucking worst. And he's basically a Mind Flare holding a gun up to a small bell, and like there's bell attacks, and like I then thought of Kung Fu Hustle with that goddamn bell couple, that and like that cool. was awesome. What if there's a guy who did all of it, every single bell, which any bells he could find. All the bells. Okay, wait. So, None of the whistles. So, fuck you. Is this another one? <laughs> is this another one where we're 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 thinking of like techniques? Because now I'm thinking of like he eventually has to work his way up to where he summons the the concept of a church bell that you, he uses to shake an entire person's body by hammering it with a. Ooh, okay. Yeah, no, that's so, like so like so so some history on this guy that I've just come up with. Uh, he worked in a church. Worked in a church. Not it's not a it's not an easy guy. What, what were you imagining for this? You said a cultivation novel, so like a. So no, I was thinking like straight up. Uh, I shall seal the heavens. Chinese normal cultivation, but like instead of walking the path of the sword or walking the path of the zither, he walks the path of all the goddamn bells. See, see, this, this is what hits me right. Like it's like think about it like being part of a symphonic band and you're not part of the official part. You're an outer disciple. Got to work your way up and you start. It's like, man, you just don't, you're just going to, you're just going to be on this triangle. So their entire system, their entire system is based out of a base based around music. That's fine. Well, no, no, no. I I think you could, you could do that. We could also do like a, a thing where like, there's like sacred instruments in this world. Absolutely. Well, I hundred percent that like, if you look at, I shall seal the heavens. They had all of the most like inane things be like magical items. So like, I thought, why not a bell? And there well, are times in there they would somebody will pull out a bell, and like that'd be a life saving instrument, or like the ring would cause a divine sense attack, and that's cool and all. But I want basically like Batman with bells. Like he has a shark repelling bell. Well, yeah, no, no. So that's what I'm imagining. Like. He finds like one set, and it's like the like the the sea bell or something. Ah, and like he he like 
it has a spirit in it and it like becomes his like mentor spirit and he's like you have to find the other bells and like each of the bells has like different like magics in them eventually yeah! he, eventually he learns how to play a song that conquer or that, that that summons a demon that will destroy the world because the sea bell has been tricking him the entire time to try and you know, these are demon unsealing bells the whole oh, time. Oh man, they're very strong. It's, it's not the horns of the apocalypse, it's the bells of the apocalypse. Yeah, the for bells, sure. Bells, bells, bells. Oh my god. Yo, <laughs> that that reminds me. Like, what if what if what if the bell ringer is like a position of power? Like to be the one who rings these divine bells, who controls them, they can bring about differing things to trigger think think I mean like I'm from the country, right? I've, I've been that kid playing outside, hear the bell, you're done playing outside, come in, it's time to eat. Yeah. Bell has a lot of power over some oh, people. Oh, you know yours oh, specifically? Oh, God, they're like soul attacks. <laughs> yeah. uh, like he, bell he of takes man. bells and like, based on the memories of the bells, he can oh. use them for different effects. Yeah. So okay, like, he gets like the bell of a mother that always used it to like bring her kids home. <laughs> yeah. And so, he can like compel people with it. As the story develops, oh, yeah. we slowly establish more and more that bells are an integral part of this culture. Like that are that everything is determined by bells. Like like when you're born, you 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 are you are like tapped up against uh, a fucking thing, and d- depending on how it rings, d- determines shit in your life and uh, your your latent talent. Yeah, like what if the what? Okay, so we're we're you guys know the story about when um. The the ride when the British were coming yeah, and he yeah. ran. Yeah. Paul what Revere. if what if he could yeah, Paul Revere. What if you could get Paul Revere's bell? Okay. Okay, guys, 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 I see. So he like rings it and it like the the sound makes like a portal and he just walks through. And he walks through and then like his it brings them to a place where there is a bell. So and, like, like he's just going and gathering bells. So like stolen at some point, century like, Subasa Reservoir Chronicle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like he's going through it and then he's like, yes, like this is the one where he gets the Liberty bell. Yo, oh, shit. Like yeah. this is the, this is the, he's story. the, he's the real person who left <laughs> the, a crack in yeah, the bell. Yeah. How it actually cracked. Yeah. And it was a legendary battle. Oh yeah. Like, Cause like someone was trying to steal it or use it for evil. And he was like, well, no, it, this belongs in a museum. He, and he, he like, borrowed he it, it once. There is like a formation. Yeah. It's a like, formation. <laughs> and like everyone, everyone thinks it's just like a, a, a tourist attraction, but that is a sacred formation. <laughs> this, um, God. This this bill this bill's name is is Bell, right? Bill Bell. Bell. No, 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 just just Bell, like Bell. like like Bell, Bell with a weird accent. Yeah. Hi, my name's Bell. Yo, Bell Hi, must I'm be Bell. a monster on the xylophone, my guy. <laughs> oh yeah, Bell destroy. Well, uh, but his favorite just... his favorite artist is Mike O. Okay, wait. So <laughs> I love this because I'm imagining like a story where Bells. like half the things you're telling are stories about like existing things that we know from like our culture, and then half the stories are going to be from like fantasy worlds or the future or like fake cultures in the past that are like kind that we kind of know about, but are mostly guesses. That sounds like a fun book. I don't know. I'm I'm, this. This sounds like a fun one. Bell is like a musical doctor who. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He lives inside of a church tower that, that itself is, that's the bell that travels through time. It's like an old goddamn cathedral where you have like, think hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. He, thousands of bells. Well, okay, sort of so so like he walks inside of a bell. He figures out that what actually does it is standing inside of the particular bell and ringing it real hard, and the vibrations from the bell are vibrate you back in time or forward or forward. sideways to where sideways. a bell to, to the bell where that you need is. Uh, but okay, so a it's, it's a giant bell. Oh, uh, that probably could fit a bell filled with yes a lot of other bells no i i was gonna say like three people tall sort of thing and think stained glass like very ornate sure sure uh but the hammer's missing he is the hammer i was thinking more like spongebob lives in a pineapple under the sea uh this this bell would live in uh live in a giant bell that has just floor and floor after floor of bells that he can use to get to where he needs to go i see all of his collections i liked like a platform nine and three quarters like where he would hit it real fast (laughs) and like the back should hit him but he just passes through (laughs) it 
Yeah, uh, no, absolutely that. I like can, Bell's methods. I want. Uh, so can, can, can I come out with a title right, right sure, here? Sure, go Do for it. it. I didn't actually. Uh, I only made ones for the first guy. Okay, so I'm thinking it's more. This is less like a book and more of like an episodic TV show with a storyline yeah. going behind it. Yeah, yeah. Um, very much so. More like novellas. Yeah. Like, like, just like singular, like a like uh, teen novels. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where like each novel is just like, like the, the Dragon the series of one yeah. world, yeah. and there's usually only like one or two major conflicts. That's exactly the Pin Dragon series. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, like, so you it's... could like the titles could be cool. You could have like Maester Bell and yeah. whatever it is. Are they, I they have the to Liberty be Bell? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Mr. We Bell can't go in the curious case we can't of the go cracked that, bell. Uh, we can't go Are, that cheesy, you guys. Okay, they gotta so, be. They gotta be. They gotta be serious ish. Is this, no, this is, is this serious. Har- is this Hardy Boys level titles? No. Yeah. This is this <laughs> is like Goosebumps kind of level <laughs> titles. Yeah. Not not Goosebumps. Like like <laughs> the bells of Aberdeen. <laughs> or like, yeah, there you like, go. <laughs> Just uh, shit like that. Like, uh, I, that's how it's got to go. Like, that's... Maester Bell and the Sound of Liberty. Ah, see? Yeah, there you go. See, and, uh, Richard's got the and right he has idea. a different companion each episode. Sometimes it's a recurring companion, depending on the timeline he goes to. See, but I every think... time he comes back, he's he's working further on the conflict in his own realm, of course. Of course. And, and the Sound Wars. The, oh. that he's... <laughs> see, I was thinking more, ter- not... Terry Pratchett slash Piers Anthony esque with uh with book like puns. Mm. <laughs> no, Bill, Bill. Like, if you would have, if you had your Meister, way, every fucking thing would be puns, and I will not allow it. Meister Bell always rings true. No. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. No, oh. this was covered with Hardy Boy level puns. I will oh, not allow it. Yes. <laughs> I guess I can't just <laughs> veto it, but like, goddamn, uh, th- that just, that's awful. It's awful, Bill. I mean, we've clearly written a young adult series it's here, true. so I think it only fits. All right. So the, the, what is, what is the name of the series as a whole to I cap this off? it has to be the Bells of Aberdeen. The, the, <laughs> he has yeah. to collect all the Bells of Aberdeen. All right. All Damn right. you, Aberdeen. Why is, why do you have so many Bells? That or the Bell that rang through time. The Bell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly that. Well, well, that I mean, was that... so easy. Yeah. Death rings once. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's back to that's 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 no, that, that's, that's James Bond style. level titles. Yeah, yeah, you know, I love it, bro. Like yeah. I love tiles. Like dial M for murder. I love those tiles. Dial, dial M for murder is pretty great. Yo, ring once. <laughs> All right, Meister Bell, you seem to have a very Meister big, Bell have like a incredibly vivid world. I Man. love Meister Bell. Goddamn hey, jumpers. Who's number three? Who number you got? Three. All right. We have a... Uh, I came up with a trash cultivator. Now, let me explain. Think Binke, the sort of like sword. I don't know who that is. Uh, he's a... He was a character in Chinese history who um, was alongside another famous partner. But what he was famous for was collecting the weapons of people he defeated. Ooh, okay. Um, so, like, think of that guy with a... Bu- bucket full of weapons on his back, but instead it's a trash can, and it's a bunch of broken debris and shit. But any broken debris in his hands is a lethal weapon. I he, mean, he can't real wield real swords or bats or any other weapons. He could just wield but, trash. But he's an improvised weapon master. So like broken Specialty bottles, trash. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So, no. I, I. I'm seeing how this could be very useful. Okay. Cause so I think, I think about like as a kid, right? I remember being barefoot and walking. Uh, I was walking outside barefoot. Someone had messed up because I don't know if you guys have ever eaten sardines. Oh yeah. You ripped the top oh, of the sardine. Yeah. Those things are actually Sorry. razor sharp. Oh yeah. And I stopped on one and cut my foot so bad. And oh. I think about a dude who can. Use trash like that to murder people? Yeah. Sounds oh, amazing. God. Yes. No, this is incredible. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you know the guys in um in like kind of futuristic or or sci-fi kind of novels that like get infused by a drug or get hit by an alien thing and like their their brain starts working super fast and they start being able to predict things and like they start using more percentages of their brain? Yeah, or whatever. Yes. They but no. It. So like they'll put like a pin in the street and then like four things will happen that will cause someone to fall on it and die. Oh, oh uh for a guy in fringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah I get exactly. You. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. So that guy's our main character. That's that's Bill. And like the trash, like he's like, I know all this trash has a destiny. 
<laughs> like if I set this trash up, just like all I need is a like, one garbage can, I can make anything happen. He's like, like assassin trash MacGyver. <laughs> yes, like like Mushishi esque. Oh, but he's oh, a oh, dirty that's hobo. Great. Like that's, that's even better because exactly. he doesn't need material things. He doesn't need it. And like it's the story of like him going around and putting the trash in the place it's supposed to be. Uh, okay, so are we going to make him a uh like a a savior, quote unquote, assassin? Like the he doesn't take jobs; he just goes after bad people. Well, I don't think so. I think uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have read this, but it's a thing that happens in like typical Korean martial arts novels. Okay, they have the 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 Miram, the the the, the underground martial arts stuff. There's always a homeless association. There's always oh, absolutely Let's homeless. homeless. This is yeah. the the leader of this homeless association. Yeah, can we I just see. assume that like all homeless people in this society are actually not homeless? They are all members of this. Club. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, they, yeah they, because... they have to. They have to be like this to in order to cultivate. Like that's the only way that they can do it. They they weren't there. He introduced it. It was hit, like he went around and collected homeless people and turned every homeless person into a like a killer. Who then like so there's no homeless people. So a couple they, questions. They serve a thing. You can hire them if you can. You have to meet certain requirements to hire them to take something out, and they have to agree to it. But like, till then, they take on jobs they choose to take on if it's meant to be. Everyone has a piece of trash that they love. Yeah, it's the trash that's their treasure. They collect it. So like, there's one guy who just has mounds of old trashy teddy bears. But Ooh, you bring him a teddy bear, he will fucking do anything. Oh yeah. That's how you get it. Yeah, oh, like yeah. It. You have to have something that, that that is trash to you, but is valuable to someone that they'd want. All right. Um, I, I have come up with a name. I don't want to just be the guy who comes up with names for this one, but I'm really excited about this one. Bill the Trash Man Detritus. Detritus. Mm. I'm, I'm pretty happy with my, my decisions here. You can uh, feel free to change what you'd like, but I, I, I like to imagine that uh, this is this is a, a superhero who has his own mooks instead of, you know, how a supervillain oh. would have mooks. Uh, th- so this is a superhero who has his own mooks. So like Robin Hood, the trash can hero. Yeah, so, so yeah, very much so. This is you, you, you are it's a, it's a superhero. Uh, I, I very much like the Trashman. But like you know, really up to you how you in, go with in it. In my head, I was thinking it more of a like underground kind of thing, a more of like less of a hero, more of an anti-hero, more of a person well, who does whatever they choose that, to I mean, do. Like, that's what based I'm saying. on like, their own viewpoint, like he's got like he's a, got the a, villain structure, a kind of esque yeah, character yeah, where do. he's like, I will just do what. He, I want to okay, eat. so money means nothing. Like, like in my head, when you explain this dude's power, I think of the quote unquote super metropolis where trash is automatically gotten rid of. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a cyberpunk kind of ghost in the shell situation. The cops are hyper powered, but you know who does the work and actually takes out the trash? It's like a the home- homeless alliance what? that he leads. Okay, and he just- takes care of it mostly by himself. This sounds like a guy who has backing. Can I just suggest that the way he got his fortune was that he found a lottery ticket in the trash? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, no, nah, I got my wealth in the trash. Yeah. It's going to stay I, in the I trash. Can't, I can't, I can't uh, uh, betray my roots. I have to I have to stay with the trash. Well, he like tried to live that life for a bit. Then he realized like he stumbled on a homeless man who was about to treat him like trash, like he was always treated. Then he realized, wait a second, I'm still just like... like I don't know. Either the guy says something like, you're still just like me. And there's, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I am, aren't I? I kind of really like the name Billy Can, like C A N N. Yeah. Or McCann. Like, uh, yeah, Billy McCann. I like Billy McCann. (laughs) Yeah, Billy McCann, the garbage man. Billy McCann, Uh, the garbage man. Um,. So, I still I mean, like the, the series, trash. The name man. of the series would would just have to like. I mean, it's like take out the trash or like the garbage man. Well, no, no, no. Like I, I was thinking more of like, Bru- not Bruce Lee. Uh, Jackie Chan with garbage was like my initial thought. Mm-hmm. Was just like, oh, he picks up a piece of trash like a broken bicycle, and like now he's wielding a broken bicycle. Or 
Oh, he picked up two broken bottles. Oh, no, they were regular bottles. Psh. All right, now they're broken bottles. Now well, I can use them. They were already garbage if they were thrown away. I know. Okay, wait, I got to know. If he's carrying around the thing on his back with all of his weapons, his trash, whatever in it, can he use any trash can as a source for his stuff? Or does it? Is it just... Is it just like what he can carry on his back? Because if so, that means he that could like trash. hop in a trash Yo, can and like fucking think about how powerful this is. This is a futuristic place. Think about the the, the visualization of like a Coruscant or where there's flying cars and shit. Yeah. Think about there's what's going be down yeah. on the, oh, at the yeah, bottom no, no, in the trash compactor. So in the okay, trash. So so so, so he's let's, just untouchable down there. Let's just yeah. Let's just say that that his his trash domain it. it, it is whatever oh God, trash domain yeah dude he's like walking outside and he's just like no i must fight you and then an aura of trash emits from it oh trash like domain. he he is at his strongest in in a in a dumpster or or he is he is like his hallowed ground is a dump like that he that, brings the slum and the dump wherever he goes so it's more like that, it's like oh it's an interspatial garbage can. Yes, interspatial oh my garbage God. can. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's the Why way to was do that it. so hard? Yeah, no, I'm sorry it took us so long to get to it, but interspatial garbage can is the correct answer. Yes, that, he, that he was just, right. He there's no trash because he's got it all. Think about it. Think about if you're a rich and powerful man in this futuristic world and you offend him. So you're walking down the street, you're going somewhere, you see a homeless man begging, and you're looking behind your back. You're looking around, you look at trash, you look at things that you didn't care about you didn't look out at anymore and you're terrified for your life because you know death could come from anywhere it's true no no like you go to work and you go to your office and it is packed with trash there is no room to walk in it is only filled with trash like that that's sort of happens. shit happens all the time <laughs> okay, so and like where I'm would they imagining some chapters of this where like he's like putting trash in the right place to, like, make people think of things. And then I'm imagining some of the things where, like, it's a psychological horror. <laughs> yeah. He's just trying to break people. He knows <laughs> everything that they hate and is just littering it around them at all times. Like, like pictures, like, stuff from his ex's trash so they can see, like, they're in a happy relationship now oh. and shit like that. Even better, a guy who only cares about his money... <laughs> To send the stuff, I'm going to destroy the property value of every piece of real estate. Oh, you just oh. stack up trash. I just stack up yeah. trash. And just like, imagining a picture of our main character looking down with this like really serious face and being like, "You're trash." <laughs> <laughs> I know from trash, and you're trash. And like, where do the bodies go? You ask. Once it's a body, it's trash. Yeah, so no. it just goes in the box. Like, <laughs> like cleaning up the eventually, street. Eventually, <laughs> does, okay, so does he always have the ability to just jump in his trash can and hop into no, his own no, trash domain? No, he can't trash into, jump into his trash can. You gotta, you gotta let him do that eventually. Jump I mean, into his trash can and get to all the trash that he's stored. No. Traveling shopping cart. Ooh, I like yeah. it. Okay, wait. So it's, trash can on his back like and then a shopping can, cart that he can yeah, use. Yeah, shopping can, carts don't exist anymore. Yeah, he has the only one. It's uh, like the only oh, working that, shopping cart. He actually, uses yeah, it as a mode incredible. of transportation. It's, like, it's, it is the classic, like, cultivation shuttle to move fast. Yeah. It's his shopping cart. Yeah. That makes oh, sense. That's no, no, this follows. It's, Man, oh, these man. are all three beautiful characters. What what happened? <laughs> it, it's it's a, it's our fun new podcast. Uh, I'm just a bill. I'm just a bill. All right, so I think that's that's probably about it for that's our first the show. episode. Like, uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to do a pretty similar structure for the rest where we do about three uh, three prompts from Bill. We may try to have them have a theme some episodes. Mix it up a little bit. Maybe make sure maybe we try and make them not all books. Yeah. One of those was definitely we need to a write serial. all this down. I might run with one of these for a story as we move forward because some <laughs> of these just sound super fun. Well, like I'm really interested in in Bill McCann. I I want to <laughs> I want to create this Billy McCann super the trash can man. Ooh. Like I want to like it's going to be like I think like the visualization of the old Metropolis films, except a man who isn't super rich at the top, the man at the bottom who terrifies the people at the top. Oh yeah, no, he's the Shadow King. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like, he, it is, I, lo I would love the idea that this is like slowly revealed, like 
Like, he always goes on top, and you realize that he's the main character, but, like, it's slowly revealed as a plot point that he is actually the kingpin of this major organization coming up from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, no, I believe this has to be a Korean novel. Like, there's no way. We'll, like, it, we'll it convince somebody. We'll convince one of our listeners to, like, write these. Holy shit, you guys, the fan art from this show? If there's ever fan art from this show, we'll be insane. Yeah, uh, dude, guys, if you excited. got it, send it to us. Oh, we'll my God, it, do it. No, I'm not, I don't, don't, don't listen to me. Do it, no, no. Don't. You can actually either tweet it to us at Tiger Coaster. Tiger Coaster or Tiger, uh, tiger.rollercoaster at gmail.com. Just like our other shows, if you review this podcast, I will re- read it at the end of the show. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. The uh, It's 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 an idea I got from the great Paul F. Tompkins and his amazing mustache. All right. That was super fun, guys. Let's do more of this. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It was a fun show. And Trust me, dude. I got more of them. Well, yeah. Have a great day. We'll talk Thanks. soon. Peace. Tiger Roller Coaster Productions. Tigers are scary. You try to get off.